Hello Himo fans and welcome to this new video. So today I finally had the occasion to shoot some footages outside after 70 days basically and because of this and of the recent poll that you answered I decided to start with something fun, namely dual winding swords. So first of all let's check the main sources that I used to put together this video. Ok, ok, I am just joking, even if I like Sword Art Online and the dual winding swords feel a bit fantasy-like, I used actual historical sources to build up these exercises. These sources are Ragione di adoperar sicuramente l'arme, written by Giacomo di Grassi in the 1570, which I used mainly for the guard, Guardia Alta, and for our second drill, which we are going to see in a minute. And of course the famous opera nova of Achille Marozzo written in the 1537 which partially inspired the first drill. As you can see both these sources come from the Renaissance period, in fact we do not have sources talking about dual winding swords before this period. Master Di Grassi in his book says that the habit of using two swords is something fairly recent, which has never been used in war as far as he knows but was used during his lifetime in practice and dueling situation. Using two swords is fairly hard, so we can easily assume that people decided to fight this way to show their skills in the use of weapons. And because of these guys don't expect the level of proficiency that I normally show in using other sets of weapons, because this is a work in progress which I decided to share with you earlier for fun. And believe me, using two swords in a precise way is kind of hard. That said, first thing first, let's start with the guard. As I said, we are using the Guardia Alta shown by Giacomo di Grassi. We start with the standard guard he shows, left foot forward, right sword in the Guardia Alta with the tip pointing toward the opponent's face or chest, left sword in Guardia Bassa with the tip pointing toward the opponent's belly or chest. Remember that you may easily use other variations of this guard position by changing the forward foot or by exchanging the arms position. So, from our position we start our first drill. From our Guardia Alta we strike a reverso downward cut. And to do so we rotate our sword over our head to better charge the blow. Then we launch our cut forward. In the meantime our left sword moves up to cover our left side. When you are performing this, try to use your body rotation to help this movement. When you reach the new position, so left sword in Guardia Alta and right sword in Guardia Bassa, you go back and with the same motion you strike a reverso with the left hand, which goes from right to left. Remember, everything is the opposite with the left hand. And we cover our right side with the right sword. By doing this, we are back in our starting guard. Remember to change your lead leg at some point. This will change your movements in a radical way, and you need to learn how to manage both the situations if you want to use this challenging set of weapon in a good way. After taking some confidence with the movement, we can add some footwork to the drill. At first, one step forward and one step backward is far more than enough. Then you can switch to two step forwards and two step backwards, which is slightly more challenging in terms of coordination. Ok, second exercise. This time we are going for a thrust, an attack extremely important while dual wilding swords because, uh, um, you know, it's harder to cut off your own limbs while thrusting. So we are again in Guardia Alta, left foot leading. We thrust with our right sword, moving the hand down in the process. Again, at the same time, we move our left sword up in the Alta position, but this time we put our blade across our center line to leave the chance open to protect our service from left and right downward cuts. Remember to rotate your torso to better drive your thrust forward.
Here, again, you can switch your leading leg while keeping the same arms position, which will let you train the mirrored body mechanics you trained before. And uh, again, when you have enough confidence with this exercise, you can add some footwork to start coordinating all your limbs movements together. And so, here we are, dual wilding swords. As you've seen, I used arming swords, because I train mainly medieval weapons, but uh, the style should in theory be practiced with side swords. Because of this, I changed minor particulars from the actual manuscript techniques. The thrust of the second drill should be a high thrust, or imbroccata, for example, and I have decided to do this to better fit the weapon. Remember guys, if you want to support this channel, just drop a like and subscribe. And uh, if you want to join my Patreon community, check the link in the video description. We have a brand new Discord server, which you may use to directly contact me to ask nerdy soul stuff, show me your progress in the practice, etc. So guys, thanks for watching and uh, as always, see you next time.